Hi everyone, it's Mr. Trossi, and I am going to take some time today to talk to you about common fossils that we find in our great state of Virginia. And by doing so, I'm just going to read through this um, article on the Virginia government website um, that tells us all about different kinds of fossils that we can find in our state. Um, and if you want to find out more, you can check out the Department of Mines and Minerals and Energy um, on the Virginia government website. There's lots of really cool information on there. It gives you places that you can go um, on like a little family field trip if you ever have the chance. Um, places you can go, what kinds of fossils you can find there. And yeah, so let's get into it. So some common fossils that we find in Virginia. Well, what are fossils to begin with? Well, fossils are preserved remains or imprints of once living plants or animals. These relics hold the key to understanding portions of Virginia's geologic past. All right, so basically everything that you see here are either um, things like bones, or imprints into uh, rocks that have been left by things that once were alive, either plants or animals. So the first example we have here is the pelicipods. Pelicipods, also called bivalves, are soft-bodied animals that secrete a hard shell with two sides like an oyster or a clam. Pelicipods are abundant in the Cenozoic sedimentary deposits of Virginia's coastal plain. Virginia's state fossil is the bivalve Chesapeakean Jeffersonius, as pictured right here. So if you ever go to the beach in Virginia, uh, you will very likely see some bivalves, some remnants of uh, oyster shells or clam shells uh, in, in the dirt or on top of the dirt um, that look much like the one that we see here in this picture. We also have brachiopods, which are a variety of marine invertebrate uh, animals that once lived um, near the Virginia Valley and Ridge Province, which is um, over on the other side of the Blue Ridge Mountain. Uh, these fossils were primarily found from the Paleozoic era um, long, long, long time ago and they were once on the ocean floor but they have over time or they had over time washed up into um, our, our Valley Ridge uh, area of Virginia. All right now we talked about how some uh, not just animals leave fossilized imprints but also plants and ferns are a very common plant to find fossils of. Ferns are vascular, non-flowering plants, and they leave impressions um, in rocks from the late Paleozoic uh, era, and they can be found in the Valley and Ridge Province, as well as the Appalachian Plateau, um, where these fossils are commonly associated with coal beds. So again, on the other side of the Blue Ridge Mountain, you can find a lot of uh, impressions of ferns along with the brachiopods over on that side of Virginia. Now if you go over to the coastal plain air, uh, area of Virginia, you'll also see a lot of coral, which are, um, which are marine organisms. We still have coral around today, but um, the, you'll, you'll find old coral found out that way. So let's read. Coral is the hard calcareous skeleton formed by the polyps of bottom-dwelling marine organisms. Some types of coral are formed by colonies while others occur as single individuals. Colonial corals can be found in the Cenozoic sediments of the coastal plain. Individual and colonial corals can be found in the Paleozoic sedimentary rocks of the Valley and Ridge province. So coral can be found in a variety of different places in Virginia, including the coastal plain region and the Valley and Ridge region. Um, and depending on which region you're in, you'll find different types of coral and um, from different periods of time. Let's move on to gastropods, which are mollusks, such as snails, that secrete a single shell. So we talked about the bivalves up here that secrete a two-sided shell. Well, these um, types of animals create a single shell, like snails, and they're usually spiraled, as you can see in the pictures here. 
Cenozoic gastropods such as the high-spired turritella are found on the coastal plain, while Paleozoic gastropods such as the low-spired maclerites Maclerites, let's go with that, are found in the Valley and Ridge province. So again, depending on what type or what region of Virginia you are in, you're going to find different fossils, different types of fossils um, from different periods of time. Now, if you've ever been to Virginia Beach or anywhere else on the coastal plain, there's a good chance you've seen lots of different types of shark teeth. Um, And we have a wide variety of sharks that are found from the Cenozoic sedimentary deposits of the Virginia's coastal plain. Um, Because during the Cenozoic era, that area was covered by a shallow sea, so the coast had been um, much closer inland than it is now, and what was left behind by these sharks can now be found in the sedimentary deposits um, in that area. All right, let's keep on moving. Scolithos trace fossils, the oldest common fossils in Virginia. These are the traces of the tubes inhabited by primitive worms living along the Paleozoic shoreline, found along the western flank of the Blue Ridge Mountains. So here's an example we can see here. Now we don't see the actual um, Worms, obviously, like we are left with shark teeth and shells from different types of mollusks, um, but instead imprints in the rock here that have been um, discovered as being left by uh, prehistoric worms. We also have trilobites in our um, Valley Ridge province. Trilobites are members of an extinct group of arthropods that scuttled around across the sea floor through the pa- throughout the Paleozoic era. They're characterized by a three-lobed skeleton, a variety and a variety of trilobite fossils can be found in the rocks, like I said before, of the Valley and Ridge province. Lastly, if you're ever in the coastal plain, you are likely to find some whale bones, like the vertebrae of a whale that we can see right here in this picture. Whale bones are frequently found in the Cenozoic sedimentary deposits of Virginia's coastal plain. Several times during the Cenozoic, this area was covered by a shallow sea, like we talked about before when we were talking about the uh, shark teeth. Whale bones are often associated with shark teeth, like I just said, and which would make sense because they were both swimming around in this shallow sea before the um, ocean retreated back towards, um, back away from the coast more relative to where we see it today. So if you're ever out and about, if you're ever in the coastal plain region or the valley and ridge region, or even in the Appalachian Plateau, Make sure you're looking out for some different fossils, lots of different types of fossils that we can find right here in the state that we live in. And like I said before, if you want to learn more or try to find some places that you might like to go and and look for some fossils, do some fossil hunting, there's all kinds of information about that on the Virginia government website. Hope you guys learned something. And now I guys I want you to tell me, you know, which one of these fossils was your favorite? Have you seen any fossils like these in person before? And if not, which ones do you think you would like to find if you went out fossil hunting? Alright, take it easy guys.